Hello, 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 and welcome to another Destiny video. I am Mystery Games, and we are here with an Iron Banner Roundup video. Yes, I know it's been a while. I'm sorry. I'm terrible. I'm working at getting a proper schedule going for YouTube videos, and I've got more on the way. I love making videos. I'm just not too great at making them. Trust me, we're getting there. Okay, so Iron Banner is a PvP event where the level and gear of the players are not normalized. Unlike the Crucible, players with higher levels or better weapons and armor will have the advantage in Iron Banner. I believe it returns about every four weeks and the most recent Iron Banner finished on the 5th of May. So the next one is due a week or two after the House of Wolves is released on the 19th of May. On that note, I'll be doing a House of Wolves preparation video, so stay tuned for that. The Iron Banner turned out rather successful for me. I managed to get to max rank with my Titan and almost got there with my Warlock. The Iron Banner can be brutal though, as you can see in my team's win here. If you don't have the knack for PvP or cannot find a decent team, you may get turned off the Crucible forever. It isn't for everyone. Luckily for myself, I managed to buy all the armor for both my Titan and Warlock and bought myself the Ephrodite Spear. I was also fortunate enough to get one weapon dropped during the week, but of course, RNG rewarded me with the weapon I already had, another Jolder's Hammer. But this turned out to be good in the end as I was intending to re-roll my current Jolders anyway. Unfortunately, due to time constraints, work, etc, we all know how it goes, I couldn't farm that glimmer enough for a fresh Tomo's Lash, which I'm sure I will regret in the near future as I did with the bloody Felwinter's Lie. I regret that so much. Speaking of that gun, if you have that shotgun, with anywhere near the correct perks, you could be a close quarters god. You are near indestructible if you know how to use it. Yes, of course, I know there are ways to beat any shotgun, but that Falwinter's Lie proves to be quite the difficult enemy, even with that stock range and impact if you bought it, and if you have bonus range or impact on it. Get away from me. As you can see, I'm currently re-rolling my Ephraim Spear in the hope to gain something of a good roll. I wouldn't mind final round or luck in the chamber, and unflinching would be nice as well to reduce that recoil when aiming, as I intend to be using this for PvP. I haven't had a spear before, so I'm keen to get it leveled and give it a go. Can I just say I love the idea of being able to re-roll perks for a weapon. So bring on the House of Wolves. And here is the winning roll for the spear. A solar Ephidid spear that has unflinching and final round. And I will most likely go with the Taxis SLS 15 scope for increased reload and stability and probably put the perfect balance perk on the right tier. So, yeah, pretty good overall roll with the Ephidid Spear, considering I was prepared to spend so many more motes of light on it than I did. Okay, so onto the Jolder's Hammer next. Yes, I've rolled it a bunch of times, you don't need to see that though. My current Jolder though, deals arc damage and has surplus and counterbalance. Not a great roll for PvP, but the increased impact it has does its job when you land those critical hits. So the final roll with the new Jolder's Hammer came to be a Void Jolder's with counterbalance for increased stability and crowd control, which grants bonus damage for a short time after a kill. I'll most likely use the flared magwell on it for the faster reload because of its stand clip size, although the perfect balance is a very good plan B to go with. Yes, I know my Jolder's roll isn't top tier, but it will do. I came to the conclusion after spending about 50 motes of light on it, it wasn't going to get much better and there was only 2 minutes left until reset so I gave up and decided to come over to this spot and try and get some lovely cinematic shots. Only to be interrupted. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time, please follow me here on Twitch and Twitter and I'll see you in game. Mystery out.